Hello, hello, Reds. It's United Plug News on it. Jaden Sancho has been axed from Manchester United's WhatsApp group, report Sunsports' Neil Custis and Paul Sims. United manager Eric Ten Hag and staff use the messaging platform to send key info to first-team players. But in a move that further exiles him from the team, Sancho has been removed from it. The winger is already barred from training with the senior side or using any of their facilities, including the canteen, with his food taken across to the academy section, where he also changes in his own dressing room. The 23-year-old has been left to train on his own during a standoff that started after he was left out for September's 3-1 loss at Arsenal. Ten Hag said the England international's training was not up to standard, and he issued a now-deleted post on Twitter claiming he was being used as a scapegoat. Meanwhile, Manchester United legend Gary Neville revealed his ruthless nightclub rule after manager Eric Ten Hag criticized Marcus Rashford for hosting an unacceptable birthday bash. He said that, I've said this in my book, I've said it openly and publicly. If we lost a match, any match. Forget about the Manchester Derby where we wouldn't be seen for a week or two weeks. But if we lost a match, nights out were cancelled. Simple as that. That was my rule and the rule for the other lads in the dressing room. You couldn't be seen out in a public place if you lost a football match because, to be fair, you would be bumping into people who had paid big money to watch the team play and they don't really want to see you enjoying yourselves and celebrating. It's an optics thing. Optically, I don't think it looks great if you are seen in a nightclub in Manchester after a derby loss. I don't think it is right. Eric Ten Hag said it was a mistake. I would class, I would class it as a mistake as well. Also, Manchester United had a game against Newcastle in the Carabao Cup three days later, so, again, is that the best preparation? Probably not. I don't think it was the wisest decision. Has he done something ridiculously wrong? No. But it probably wasn't the wisest thing to do. Elsewhere. Man United next target is Thiago Silva. Chelsea are targeting Nice star Jean-Claire Todibo, as they see him as a replacement for captain Thiago Silva, who is set to leave at the end of the season, but face competition from Manchester United. On the other side, Sir Jim Ratcliffe will allow Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag to continue at the helm after agreeing a deal to buy a stake in the club. Ratcliffe is set to take over football operations at United once his 25% stake is confirmed. Ten Hag is under pressure after the Red Devils' disastrous start to the season, though the club did pick up a valuable 1-0 win at Fulham on Saturday. However, recruiting a new head coach is not a priority for Sir Jim, according to the Mirror. The British billionaire is instead more concerned with improving the Manchester Giants' transfer recruitment. The 71-year-old is believed to be confident the Dutch tactician can change United's fortunes if he is given time and the support of an effective recruitment strategy. Again and again. Fans are hopeful Ahmad Diallo will soon return to the fold at Man Ut after his latest Instagram training video. The winger showed off his skills playing with a football by kicking it in the air and then controlling it. United have struggled at right wing this season, with Anthony still struggling for form and Jadon Sancho being exiled. Ahmad will offer a different solution at right wing, and one that fans will hope will be a game-changer for them. Meanwhile, Marcel Sabitzer has reflected on his time working under Ten Hag. Speaking to The Athletic, the Borussia Dortmund star revealed he enjoyed working with the Dutchman and praised his eye for detail, describing him as a man obsessed with details. He said, You can wake him up at 3 a.m., he'd tell you his whole match plan by heart. He's very knowledgeable about football and tactics, a very hard worker, a perfectionist. And he's very straight with you. When I had a bad game, he showed me some situations and told me how to do it better next time. I like that. You knew where you stood with him. He never threw you under the bus. Instead, he told players to go out and do better in the next game. I learned a lot about football working under him. He's a very good coach. In additional, 
Manchester United are holding Marcus Rashford and Bruno Fernandes back, according to Joe Cole. Cole believes Rashford and Fernandes should not be blamed for United manager Eric Ten Hag's questionable setup and hints at a new captain for the squad. Rashford and Fernandes are both world-class players. They're outstanding footballers, but they're in a system that's not allowing them to express their creative abilities. Rashford is the face of Manchester United and Bruno is the captain, but I wouldn't want my creative players to be the main leaders. Again and again. Is Saudi Public Investment Fund targets Bruno Fernandes? So, Man United captain Bruno Fernandes still has three years remaining on his contract at Old Trafford, but reports have linked him with a move away from Old Trafford. The Saudi Public Investment Fund, PIF, is reportedly interested in signing Manchester United captain Bruno Fernandes in the summer. The Middle East Fund, which owns Newcastle as well as Saudi Pro League clubs, Al Nasser, Al Hilal, Al Itihad and Al Ahli are believed to be making preparations for next year's window. This year, Saudi Arabia welcomed Cristiano Ronaldo, Nagolo Kante, Riyad Mahrez, and Karim Benzema to their top flight in a bid to grow the legitimacy of the sport in their country. According to journalist Rudy Galetti at TV Dello Sport, Fernandez is a player who interests PIF and has emerged on their list of targets. Galetti adds the Portuguese midfielder should expect contact from the fund soon to explore whether the 29-year-old would be interested in a switch to the Pro League. Currently, Fernandes is one of Eric Ten Hag's most trusted players, but a switch to Al Nasser could tempt him thanks to their captain Ronaldo. There is no suggestion at this stage Piff would want to sign the midfielder for Newcastle, a move which the Reds would almost certainly reject. Elsewhere, RMC sport journalist Fabrice Hawkins understands United have started making their own transfer moves this month. It is claimed the Reds have contacted the agent of Galatasaray, fullback Sacha Bowie, ahead of a possible move. The 23-year-old right-back has been a stalwart for the Turkish side this season and featured against United in the Champions League earlier this year. Bowie's contract expires in 2025, and it is understood Ten Hag is growing more confident about a deal being reached. On the other side, Manchester United could end up in a transfer battle with Arsenal if they go back in for Juventus's Federico Chiesa, according to reports. The Italian winger is on both of the Premier League club's radar for the upcoming transfer window. Chiesa, 26, is a transfer target for the Red Devils and the Gunners, according to Calcio Mercato. Both sides are desperate to add depth in their wide areas in the January transfer window. Juventus's No. 7 is very ambitious about a move to the Premier League and believes top-flight English football will enrich his career. Eric Ten Hag's struggling side has suffered immensely this term, with Anthony underwhelming and Jadon Sancho frozen out and Chiesa could be the missing piece to the Man United squad after scoring four goals and picking up one assist in ten league games this term. The report added the Italian international speaks very good English, which makes him a strong candidate for Ten Hag. United have targeted the winger on several occasions, and in the summer, Juventus wanted 90 million for their star man. But even with the player now valued at 56 million, this may be too steep for United. Therefore, they are also considering a cheaper deal for Flamengo star Gabriel Barbosa.